Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. I've got a, a piece of cardboard again, 10 by 8. The reason I do that is because I just like to save myself money on canvases and I can paint on both sides. So these are just quick study lessons. Um, if that's something you're interested in, stay with me and um, after this short introduction, we'll get straight on to the painting. So as I said, uh, thank you very much for joining me in the studio. It is a cold, cold day today. Um, it's October and it's quite chilly. Anyway, so let's have a look at the colours that I've got on the palette today. I got some cadmium red, pediment arisen and crimson. I got some cadmium yellow. I got some burnt umber. Oops. <laughs> I got Mars black and white as normal. Now, if you haven't got any arisen and crimson, don't worry. Just mix a bit of cadmium red and a bit of burnt umber together, and you're going to get approximately that colour. So don't worry too much. The thing we do in the studio is don't panic. Yes. So what I'm going to do is get my, my little device here and a pencil. And these quick study paintings um, are very good. To learn the basics and then you can take these lessons that I teach you up to um, a bigger canvas or use the techniques on a bigger painting altogether actually. Okay so I'm hoping to get this done in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, we don't know. I don't I don't don't hold to me to the time but I'm gonna try. Okay so the reason I'm gonna do this is because I want to explain um, how to blend today. Blending is, is, is a thing I always get as asked. So, right, I'm going to get some cadmium red, a little bit of yellow. Let's make it like a, an orangey colour. There we go. Cadmium yellow and cadmium red. A little bit of white. So get that on your brush. And then go into your white and get a little bit of white onto your brush. You've got a bit of orange and a bit of white. And then you start in the centre and you work your way out like this and you get to about that point just bring that down like that you get to about that point and you just darken the colour up a bit just add your pigment into your brush stay away from the yellow just add a little bit more red we want this a little bit redder as we get out like that Get out to about that point and let's get some yellow get some more yellow in there there we go oh it's looking nice let's get some more yellow every painting you do is going to be different so yours is going to be different to mine but what we want is that warm summer type of sunset lead look putting it on like that let's get some more of that let's get a little bit of that yellow in there let's get some let's get some of that yellowy whitey type of uh, like a like as if the sun is just setting in there get a bit of that color in just spread it about be loose be free let in that color and those colours merge together. Let's get a little bit of a rizzer and crimson now into that colour. A bit more rizzer and crimson over this side because it's going to be warmer over there. Merging that together like that. Keep playing. Go back in a little bit more white back into the center area bring that back out like that what i'm going to just going to do now is going to get a little bit of kitchen paper just going to pull a bit of that paint off my brush i'm going to back in 
making this very very lovely white pinky orangey type of color there you go let's get a little bit more white I just want to brighten that up a bit more oh this is looking nice just get a little bit of the light going up in there like that Back in a bit more white again. Sparkling some light like that. There you go. What we need to do now is get a blending brush. I sell these on the website www.cly5art.co.uk. I just had to uh, put my power cable back in my camera because I knocked it out. <laughs> so this, these are available www.cly5art.co.uk. Smoothly, 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 smoothly. Pull that through like that. I've gone quite... Um, my favourite thing to paint on at the moment is card because it dries very quickly for me. Now, as some of you would say, I can't stand acrylics because they dry too quick. Now, for me, they don't dry quick enough, um, especially when I'm doing lessons like this. So I'm mixing a little bit of, mixing a little bit of um, resin and crimson, a little bit of yellow. I want to just get a little bit of red in the sky because I, I, don't, like cam I don't like the glare on the cameras. So I try to avoid, I want it, I want it to dry pretty quick then, that's what I'm trying to say. A little bit of moisture now, I'm going to get some of the cardamom, I'm sorry, the erisonum crimson, a little bit of black to it. I'm just getting a dark in that colour up, maybe I've added a bit too much black to that. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Pull that down like that. Again over there. Let's get some arisen crimson, some yellow. Let's get some yellow into this now. Put in some yellow in. A little bit of moisture on my brush. I want to get a little bit of this white colour to come down there like that. I'm going to put a bit more of that in a minute. Right, I want to mix some orange. Definite, definite, definite orange. Try and bring that down in. Oops, bit of contamination there. Bring that down then. There, like this. Moisture, because I want it to flow. See, I added a lot of moisture onto the board then. That's the medium mix that I'm using. Which is available on the website www.cly5art.co.uk Okay, so next stage, um, let's go back into this. Um, I'm going to just change my brush one second. Okay, so I got a little tiny filbert brush. You know me, I don't stand too much on ceremony. I'll just pick up a brush if I think it, that's the one I want. That's what I'll that's what I'll use. So from you now, we need to get some dark
mountain range type of shapes coming in like that wiping the brush I'm just going to drag that down now like that Like I said, 10 minutes or so. I hope. I don't know. Got another mountain range there coming up. A lot of mountains in Wales. A lot of mountains in Wales. Again, pulling it down. These are fun little paintings. I love painting things like this. I really do. Because they can teach you so much about... They can teach you so much about um, blending and colour and the use of colour and things. And why not just give it a little go? Why not, why not have an experiment sometimes? Just sit there and paint and, and be free and loose. Because sometimes that's the best thing you can do. Is just be free and loose. You don't, you you'll be surprised what you can actually accomplish when you do that, and just letting your artistic skills loose on the world, as they say. So we're putting some cloud in now, like this, and just have a little experiment. As I said, if you want to practice clouds. This is a good opportunity to practice clouds. Just put some wispy bits in like that. Don't 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 think. Don't overthink things. Be when you're doing something like this, you just you need to let yourself go. And you, you can't really make a mistake because you should be able to correct things quite easily. There we go. Okay. Let's get a little bit of this lighter colour now and just put in a few flecks like some of these clouds are just picking up a little bit of light. There we go. Maybe a little bit of light coming just on the top of these. Mountain ranges like that. There we go. Let's get some more white on the brush. And hopefully, hopefully we can... We don't want too much brush. Uh, too much brush on our paint. We don't want too much paint on our brush. Let's just get that brightness in there like that. come back to that in a second now what I want to do is get this big brush well it's not a big brush is it it's, it's only a size 10 filbert brush that we put that we put the original color down and I'm, I'm just going to pick up a mixture of colors on my brush there we are you can see there's a mixture of colors on my brush all I'm going to do now is go this way we need a little bit of shadow in the water like that easy 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 white paint white paint white paint Put in a bit of light in. Like it's just sparkling across the water there like that. Sparkling across the water it is. Let's get some yellow. Let's get some yellow. Why not? We haven't put any yellow in yet. Let's pick up a bit of... Let's get some yellow in the sky.
Rub it in with your finger, why not? I'll tell you what we'll do, let's get, let's get a bit of this dark colour. We need to put it on a rising line. Just there, I think. Just to break that up. Let's make that a little bit darker. Whoops. Too much paint. So let's get a bit of tissue paper and just wipe that away. I know you heard what I just said. If you've got if you make a mistake, you can correct it. That's what it's all about. Brighten this point up in the sky there. There we are. Easily corrected. Easy corrected. This is what happens when you make a mistake sometimes. You just, oh no, I've got to do it again. And it's not right. And don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. You get it. Everything will work out. Everything works out. It really does. Let that dry. Let's get some burnt umber. Burnt umber. Black. Burnt umber and black. Burnt umber and black. Put a big lump of burnt umber and black there. Another big lump of burnt umber and black there like that. There you go. Check a bit of that red in. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. A little bit more black. We want this dark down here like that. Oh, this is deep in shadow. This is deep, deep, deep in shadow. There we go. Creating a foreground now. Creating us, giving us something to, to focus on. We need some, we need some land or something. We need something there. Let's get some. Let's get some yellow and plonk a little bit of yellow in there like that because it could be could be picking up some light, couldn't it? Could be picking up a bit of light in there. Like that. Pick a bit of light up. Flicking a bit of that in like this. There you go. Just a little bit of light. Just a little bit of light. Now what we've got to do is go back into our black. Same brush. Same blush, bit of bit of um, medium mix. And let's just put a little tiny, let's just put a little tiny line there, like that. Little tiny line. And let's put another little tiny line there, like that. And let's put this one on a bit of a wonk. There we are, like that. And as we come forward, they get even bigger, and they're getting fatter, and they're getting further away from each other. There's another one. Another one. Let's put, put another one there. Oops. Let's put another one there. There we go. We'll paint over that little bit there now in a second. Let's put another one there now. You take time. You take your time. Don't 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 rush it like me. Don't rush it like me. You take your time. We put one more, just on a bit, bit of a wonk, like that. Wow, look at that! You've already got perspective now, perspective. So we'll bring this down, like that. This one is going to be on a bit of an angle, like that. That one's going to be on a bit of an angle, like that. That one's going to be a bit straighter. This one's going to be a bit straighter. This one's going to be straight. This one's going to be on an angle, like that. That one's going to be on an angle, like that. Ooh, and that one's going to be on a bit of an angle as well. There you go, like that. Now, can you see? Can you see? Like the light is the light is coming. Okay. Now, 
what I've got to do now is um, I've got to just get the hair dryer on that very quickly. I want to dry it off completely. I want to dry it off completely. Let's get a brush. Let's get a brush, get some medium mix. Get some medium mix, get some yellow. Ooh, make a nice, make a nice thin yellow. Make a nice thin yellow. That's what we want, a nice thin yellow. Let's put some glow onto this water now. What that's going to do is just going to go over that white and that orange. And it's just going to give it a, a glow of yellow. There we are. Just that glow. That's what we want, is that, that, that glow of yellow there. Can you see that? Can you see that? I hope you can see that. Put a bit of glow in the sky as well. It's just going to kill a, a little bit of that brightness of orange. And just tone down that white a little bit like that. So we got a we got what looks like some sort of river thing. I don't know. I don't know. Some sort of river thing. There we are. I'll do me. Will I do you? I'll do me. Let's get a strip liney brush. Okay, we found a strip liney brush. Let's get a bit of black. Very, very thin paint. Steady hand or use a stick. Steady hand or use a stick. Broken lines. It's a little bit of wire going down there and my cork's just come off this is what happens when you try to this is what happens when you try to work fast it doesn't always work out for you but i don't mind 10 minutes or so i said let's hope i don't know i'm not walking, looking at my clock so a little bit of light just catching just go underneath them there we are let's get a bit of reflection in our water like that. Can you see? Can you see the reflection? I hope you can. Okay, so let's get some of this black and let's mix some yellow to it. Oh, look, we got a green. We got a green color, sort of. We got a green color, sort of. Let's put some reeds and things in. Let's put some dark color in some light color in like reeds on a on the river bank reeds on a river bank that's what we're doing today. Reeds on a riverbank. Just get a little bit of colour in there. As I said, very, very quick type of study painting. Just 
to have fun. Just I sometimes I just paint just to just to have fun. Sometimes I paint just to have fun. And why not? Who said you have to do things perfectly every time you paint? Painting is about trying to find your bloody brushes. Where's that script line I've gone? I think this is just about enjoying the process. It, you, you don't have to get all wound up over what you're doing. Let's put a few. Dots here and there like this. Let's just get a few dots here and there. If you want to get, if you've got one of these um, foliage brushes of mine, which are available on the website www.clay5art.co.uk, you can put some more grass in like this just to break up the foreground there like that a little bit of grass a little bit of grass and there you have it so you've got a little fence that has sunk into the water. You've got some shadows. These are the shadows coming off the posts. You've got some distant hills, a sunset. You can make that as bright. You change the colors, play with this. All I wanted to do is play with this particular lesson. Don't worry about being accurate. Don't worry about being tight and consistent. Just just be free and loose. This is why I do these things, is, is to encourage you to paint. Um, we, if you want to paint the masterpiece, you can go on and do that and, and go on to a different level. But this, these type of paintings that I do are just for beginners that want to learn acrylics. And these are fantastic ways of just throwing paint on and having fun. So if you like what you've seen today, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Down by there is another video. Uh, sorry, over there is another video you might be interested in. Down by there is a subscription button. Please click on that. There's a couple of other links there popping up now. So until next time, thank you very much for joining me in the studio. And I'll see you there. Bye.